What's good? My no It's just me. And my boy Brad Kazlowski. Cardboard cutout. How are you guys doing out there? Alrighty then. Big Co, Casey, they're down for the count. So for the first time in FF Dynasty history, you're getting one guy. Let's see if I can continue to not blow it. I just just hit the uh, the waves with a little rookie recap report, if you will. And uh, now we're going to talk a little buy, sell, hold, little trade target. And uh, we'll see how it goes. If you guys are watching on YouTube, please let me get that subby. Hit me with a scribey. Let me get a comment or thumbs up. Don't thumbs down it. Don't thumbs down it. Let me get a comment. Tell me in the comment section how terrible I am. That'll help the algorithm, you know? Which is probably not what you wanted to hear if you were trying to leave a negative comment. But that's what it does. You know, if you leave a negative comment, it helps the algorithm. So, I mean, go fuck yourself. You're helping me with that negative comment. It doesn't bother me. You know? Get it out, man. Get it out. Get it out. All right. Real quick before we hit the show, want to get you guys with the Thrive. The Thrive Fantasy, the player prop website taking over the fantasy uh, daily fantasy sports betting. Head over to ThriveFantasy.com or download the app. Use the code the FFD. They will match your deposit up to $100. So that's pretty nice of them. Get some free monies. Play a little prop bet here or there. Hit a contest. You know, have some fun. It's fun. It's quick. It's easy. Ah, you guys are degenerates. You need to gamble. I know you do. So hit it up and, and, and tell them your boys sent you so that we can get a little kickback from the Thrive. Because that's how these work, you know? You get, a, you get kickbacks for the... Uh, for the promos. All right. We're going to hit these trade targets. Maybe a little buy. Maybe a little sell. Should we hold? It's kind of weird doing this with one person, but I just got I got a list of guys that I wanted to get to you. You know, I did my homework. I watched all these games. Mostly the condensed version. Okay. I ran through snap percentages and counts and targets and yards after the catch and yards after contact. All the stuff, okay? Got a nice little show sheet. We're going to hit you with some players. All right, first off, Daryl Henderson. He's back. He's back. In case you were wondering, is he over that rib injury? The answer is yes. He had 14 carries for 89 yards. That's a 6.4 yards per carry average if you're keeping track. Caught five of six targets for another 27 yards. You got to fire this guy up. It's time to, to fire him up next week. Uh, he's over the injury. He looked like his usual bursty, swifty, fluid self. He looked he looked phenomenal out there, and he played over 80% of the snaps, so that tells you he's back. Sony didn't make much of an impact, and Daryl Henderson is the man. And if someone's a little down on him, I mean, he's put up 15.7, 17.2, and 16.6 PPR points. Uh, in the three games that he's played. So that's that's pretty good, but it, it it's I, I'm going to go ahead and say it's going to get better. Uh, that offense looks like it's ready to roll. They did hit a little roadblock this past week, but you know he's still produced. He's still got the bulk of the work. He still has a PPR floor, and the ceiling is still to come. And I think there's still a little window here to possibly uh, buy Daryl Henderson, and I would not be selling him. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm holding on there. All right, moving along. Core Daryl. Patterson coming off a freshy fresh five of six receiving for 82 yards and three tooties three TDs tutties tutters tooties fucking three of them Jesus Christ every time I looked on red zone it was Cordero Patterson catching some phenomenal looking pass I mean geez you know also added six rushes for 34 yards had 29.6 PPRs but this man's like 30, and he's not playing a ton of snaps. I think I got to sell. I mean, that's the easy answer is like, can you sell Cordero Patterson? But, I mean, what can you get for him? I mean, if you, if you could get a two, does that sound like enough for Cordero? I think I'd be definitely ready to ship off Cordero for a two. And if he crushes the rest of the season, I'll just chalk that up 
I'll take that L if he continues to do what he's doing. But I don't think that's going to be the case. And I think I'd be trying to move him. Maybe not in redraft. You know, in redraft, I think I'd probably just hold on and see how it goes because you didn't pay anything for him. And if he does continue to do this, then why wouldn't you? Uh, Do you want to fire him up every week? We've been saying, no, I don't want to, but how can you not? I guess you got to. But in Dynasty, I'd be trying to maybe get like a two or something. Let me get... Or like a younger guy who hasn't done much, you know? If you could get like a Jalen Rager, if you could give up, you know, something like that. Go find a guy who's not doing anything, pay a little bit for him, and ship, ship Cordero out to get get a younger kind of dynasty asset out of, out of what he's doing. All right. Maybe you can't do anything with Cordero Patterson. But this next guy, Juju Smith-Schuster. He is a... Dynasty buy if there ever was one, okay? I'm not sure if it's going to work out for him this year necessarily, okay? When Deontay Johnson's in there, he's getting just peppered. And they got Claypool. And they got Najee eating up target shares, eating up yak. And Juju's just chilling in the slot. Wished he could get moved outside more, but they're like, nah, we need you in the slot. He re-upped. He's on a one-year deal in Pittsburgh, okay? This is the last year. So he gets to go wherever he wants next year. And here's the kicker. He's 24 years old. He's 24. I would have not guessed that if I was just like, how old is you? I don't know, Juju's old as shit because he's been in the league forever. You know, and pass his rookie contract to sign another one-year deal. And he's still only 24. He'll be 25 in November. So I would be trying to go get some Juju Smith-Schuster. He is a, he is a great dynasty buy because he's so young and he's going to get a fresh start next year with, with a team of his choosing. And he's, he's a good player. He's a, he's a great player. He, he's, a, he's a strong, he's a good to quite good player. And... He can get open, he can catch balls, he can do work after the catch. He's a big dude. He can he's versatile. He can obviously play the slot, but I think he can win outside. And I'm I'm looking forward to what he can do on another team. So I think Juju's probably my biggest dynasty buy. And then I got some other ones here. Decent little stabs. I want to throw in Cortland Sutton. He had a down week and he's only had one good game. And Teddy Bridgewater's got a concussion. And Drew Locke sucks. And Cortland, you know. Doesn't have good hand placement or some stupid shit that whatever people want to hate on him for. Uh, He's a stud. And he's healthy. And it's just not working out for him. And that's why you got to go try and get some Cortland Sutton. All right. That's pretty easy. Here's a different one. This is going to be a little harder to convince you on. But Damian Harris. Okay, we brought him up last week. Casey made a great point. He said, maybe maybe you can buy him this week. Talking talking after week three. But he was like, week four, they play the Bucs. And the Bucs have an amazing run defense. You know, the Patriots only attempted, I think, seven rushes the whole game. Damian Harris had four of them. I think he had negative yardage. But he did play 60% of the snaps, and he set a career high running 17 pass routes. Had a couple of nice blitz pickups. That's been the issue with Bill Belichick. You miss an assignment. You're getting yanked. Looked like he was picking them up out there. Had a couple of nice receptions. But he was dominating the snaps. Ramon, or the snaps. Ramondre Stevenson is still a healthy scratch. And, I mean, the other guys they got, J- Taylor, the Taylor guy, he fumbled, so he's done. They got no choice but to give it to D- Damian Harris. And he had two down weeks because he played two good defenses and they got in bad game flows. But I think you could go scoop Damian Harris for cheap because he's a good player and I think there's better stuff coming. And the numbers of the playing time are, are trending in the right direction. And you're going to need an RB2 before this season's over. I mean, guys are dropping out. And you're going to need an RB2. And Damian Harris right now has got to be frustrating his owners. If I didn't already have him, I'd be trying to go get him. Speaking of a guy, if I didn't already have, I'd try and go get his Brandon Ayuk. Okay, that's an easy one, right? Bad week. One for three for 15 yards. Everybody real mad at this dude right now. And understandably so, I get it. But this dude is a talent. This dude, I'm ba- I'm gonna bet on the talent. I'm gonna keep betting on the talent. And if 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 someone's frustrated and wants to move off Ayuk, let me get him. Let me have him. Let me have him. 
I want that. That's what my kid says. I want this. I need that. I need that. I want to get me some some more Brandon Ayuk. And sticking with the the uh, sticking with the Forty ers Kittle could maybe possibly be a slight discount right now? Question mark. Under double digit fantasy points in two of the four games. Currently tied in fifteen on the year. So. Just wanted to throw that out there. He might be a guy that uh, you could go scoop up on the low or a little at a slight discount. Okay, people might be mad at Kittle. People mad at Jimmy. People mad at the Forty ers They don't win by enough. You know, Jimmy sucks. Maybe try and scoop some Kittle. He's always hurt. You know, that's that's the, people hate him for that. But when he's when he's on and when he's right. And it's working out. It's great. And he's one of the top tight ends in the league. And if you could get a discount, I'd be down. All right, guys. I think that'll wrap up this little short quickie. little buy, sell, hold. Hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. Don't hit that thumbs down. If you're listening on, on the podcast, hit me with a five-star review on the iTunes. Appreciate you guys. Let me get the hell out of here. Peace. Peace.